Cause baby, you're a fine work. Come on, let's you come. G'day guys, make them go, uh, 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 as we shoot across the sky, uh, 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 low, go, go, even brighter than moon, 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 do, 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 How's that holding? It's looking pretty good. Pretty good. Sorry guys, just gonna turn the chat on there. Hi Travel, and I am outside today, finally. Woohoo! How long did that take, guys? Forever. Forever. Just bring you over that way. How are we doing? That's golden. Right. Perfect. Let's bring this down. I'm not sure quite how this is going to hold up today, Yang, because it's uh, a little bit windy with some gusts, but if we lose this one, we'll know not to put up one of the other good ones. How do you know when a painting's finished? Well, you just sort of know. No, that's not fair. You, how do you know a painting's finished? Everyone's different. When you know, you'll know. That's a good way of putting it. I reckon. It is 1 p.m. and yes, I I did have a uh, yeah, I did have a um, blah, 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 t-shirt on, but it was just too hot today. So here we are. So I got some. It's a pity these oil paints I've just bought. I've got a whole stack of them. This whole box. When I bought them, hey kidding, um, they've been sitting around a while, so there's lots of oil in the top. See that? That's just straight up liquid. Because it's separated a little bit, which is a real pity. Because oh, the white's all good, but the colours are not. So try and buy newer oil paints if you can help it. See, this one is actually. This one's borderline solid. We'll get a lot of that out there. There we go. Perfect. Um, someone wants to love you for you to join, but I don't know who you are. And so there's a trust barrier there. There we go. Tons of orange, guys. That's what we want. <laughs> you can't even see the painting? You should be able to. It's two meters long. <laughs> yeah, I'd say no. Thanks, Justin. I feel bad, but uh, at the same time, I'm like, hmm. Um, the last thing I want is for you all to have to put up with some 
someone doing something inappropriate or loud or you never know best avoided so uh all these brushes too guys these are all dirty old brushes so we'll see where they take us don't feel bad you get blocked if it is something bad yeah yeah fair enough fair enough all right guys dirty old brushes um i've washed them off a little bit yeah but you can see even if i add like, blah, even as i touch it it's coming off on my fingers so it's really not the cleanest brush in the world but it doesn't need to be because we're gonna do a really messy job today cool cool let's go let's get to painting i like your style justin i do like your style right we've got tons of colors here but actually if we're being picky we don't have enough color so we're going to attack it um background background's just wild we put extra paint out there we're thickening it up thickening it up it's a lot going on it's a lot of fun foreground these characters we just want to build up a lot of different colors all fighting to be their own thing but all slowly coming together to construct an overall picture you should see two monks they're sort of washing uh, pans but look we might even get that slightly more abstract as we go on because you don't really need to see it we're not trying to get a message across here uh 1 p.m draw a turtle that sounds like fun Jaden, but not today we'll do a turtle one day just for you Jaden. promise the best way to get if your image is blowing around like that the best way i can find it stick down a little bit of oil paint on the back there we go now it's not going anywhere Mix colors to create your palette first. Absolutely not. So here's our palette, all straight out of the tube. We're going Vincent Van Gogh style. He liked paint straight out of the tube. I like paint straight out of the tube. Who copied who? I think we all know. That's all right. That's all right. Patrick Gow's son. Ah, that's a bit of an insult, um, but nah, he's a lovely guy. Um, but no, not Patrick Gow's son. Ben Gower's son. No relation of Patrick Gower whatsoever. For the misfortune of both of us. Thanks for the roses, Kayla, and welcome back, Kayla. Um, we will. I think I've got an email sitting there from you, Kayla. I'm so sorry. I, I'm meaning to get back to those, but. And I, I know I promised you guys too, I even posted about in the story that I'd be live yesterday, but I didn't go live yesterday um, night. Because when I got home, um, I had some very good friends who were all over and they wanted to spend some time. And so I thought I'd better do that and live a little. So I did, but unfortunately painting took a hit because of it. Um, thanks, Michael Markham, you're the man. Patrick, yeah, come on, that's a low blow. Yeah, I felt like that, Ree. And welcome back, Re. Re, if you knew Patrick Gow, nah, if you know who Patrick Gower is, you must be from New Zealand, right? Are you from New Zealand? Why did what I think you're not from New Zealand? Have I forgotten things? Friends and family is important. Thanks, Justin. Yeah, so that's why I went MIA on you guys yesterday. I should have gone live last night. It should have been in the dark. It should have been fun. It should have been all sorts of things. But I failed on y'all but at least i'm honest about it guys at least i'm honest about the fact that i did bail on you i'm giving you my reasons why and you can accept them or you can hold it against me either way we're here now the weather looks awesome today it is it is it's a great day to be at it um i've actually mucked it up a little bit guys because i spent the morning with my brother and the sun was over there all morning in the east and that's actually what I wanted I needed that sun on the side because it lights up the painting better but now it's directly above me which isn't as convenient weirdly enough weirdly enough now bear with me guys it's very likely that this painting could just blow over at any moment and if it does don't worry, because this isn't belonging to anyone, it's not a commission. If it gets ruined, it will be a pity, but it won't be the end of the world. It'll just be what it is. 
So we're willing to take that risk. Hey Izzy, welcome back. Now, this painting's getting stuck in a little bit of a quagmire in that it hasn't really developed as much as it has just had more paint on it. So I'm being a little bit more wild today, putting the paint on a little bit thicker and giving it a chance. Well, that's not very helpful. It's not very helpful at all. Uh, giving it a chance to come out of its shell by going just a little more wild with it. I'll tell you what might help, guys. If I go like this, I've got this little bit of tape here from the other day. If I put that at the bottom, then rub it on, it'll stay. It'll stay. Mika, he's left handed. The video is flipped because of front cam. Very perceptive. Very perceptive. Yeah. You like right. I didn't know about that uh, little front cam piece of info, but uh, that does make a lot more sense now. Okay, so big thing about this paint, guys, we are not going easy. We are putting it on thick. Every brush stroke is full. I'll show you this paintbrush now once I'm ready to go with it. That's what we're working with. It is on thick. And I'm just dabbing it where I think it needs that. Dabbing it where I think it needs to go. And uh, yeah. Taking no prisoners this round. I want it on thick. Because the quality is great. Is the quality uh, good today? That's fantastic because the other days we've been struggling with that quality. Um, because I'm not sure. Different house though now. Different house, different Wi Fi, different everything. It's probably a big improvement. There we go. Okay, just a little bit everywhere, team. So this is the sort of work that you'd hang up in an area of the house where um, you'd see it, but you don't want a picture just staring you down the whole time. The picture wants to be slightly abstracted, so if you look at it for a while, you'll see the picture, but on the whole, if it's in a hallway or something, you're not just walking past big characters staring you down. It's no fun. So this is more of a piece for a... Uh, high traffic space or when I say high traffic a place where you are in for longer periods of time with other people if you're in those sort of places you don't really want a giant portrait just bearing down on you you want something more abstract that doesn't really become OTT in the room I would honestly buy that it's so cool yes yeah, so, yeah so this one's really fun uh, really thick really expressive and if you are in a room say you had it in your living room and you're having a cup of tea or great place to see it is in a cafe. Um, you'll just see splotches of paint everywhere. They won't be in your face, but every single one of them slowly builds out into a picture. So if you look for long enough, you'll start to know more about the character as time sifts by. So that's fun. Flaxseed works good. Flaxseed does work good, but we're not using it. We're using paint straight out of the tube. So this is, this is what we're doing. Straight out of the tube. Now we're onto orange. And look, I'm just using that blue straight into the orange because we're using so much paint that it doesn't actually matter that the uh, brush wasn't clean. We're just going at it. And we're just gonna put this down where we think it belongs. Here we go. Um, but yes, if you want the paint to run nicer, black seed's a great option. Black seed is a good option. Um, coconut oil does work, but it doesn't dry for a long time, guys. So unless you're planning on waiting six months for a dry time, don't use coconut oil. Um, and if you want it to dry fast, I recommend ba -ba -bum -bum -bum, liquid, which is a compound you can get from any store and you'll be away. This is oils because we are outside. How fun's that? Uh, <laughs> I think we all wear Eugene 
wear jeans the same way, but I'm glad you like my technique for them. I put my left leg in first, and then my right leg. Sometimes the other way around, you know, if I'm feeling wild. And then, uh, as you pull them up, be careful of any holes in the jeans. Because if your foot goes through the hole, you'll tear a bigger one. And then, uh, pull them up to your waist. Do up the belt. And go about your day. That's, um, that's my jeans process, if anyone was curious. Let me know if you have any other tricks or tips. But I think that's about as complicated as it can get. Going on fit, guys. If I'm missing a few comments, I'm so sorry. Which medium enabled to recycle back? Because lately we have recycled, and how do you recycle it? Uh, which medium can we recycle back? Probably the best recycling you can do for art, guys, is to. Uh, go to the op shop to buy your canvases um, or uh, yeah to re-stretch old canvases or to buy old frames and incise canvases to them this is great ways to recycle all those frames are just waiting there for some love um, sometimes you'll find frames that don't even have uh, artwork in them well in that case why not buy the frame size the canvas to the frame and then they'll fit together and you can reuse that. That's probably the best recycling you can do. As for paint, I don't think you can recycle paint. Um, I don't think that's a thing. It could be a thing. Maybe I don't know it's a thing, but it's always been a thing. Do you ever... Hey, thanks Lopart, you're the best. Do you ever finish a piece before starting another? Yes, 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 yes. You're gonna fall into all sorts of traps while you're painting, guys. You know, you're gonna be painting one piece, you're gonna get sick of it, you're gonna need to move on, start something else. Um, and at the moment, I've probably got about 15 on the go. Stay the water. I told you that would happen, guys. Um, it's about 15 pieces on the go. It's sort of holding, sort of not. We'll see how we get on. That's terrible, guys. Hold on. How am I going to fix that? How am I going to fix that? Look, it's not the best. One good breeze and we'll lose it. But we'll take that risk. We'll take that risk. <laughs> it's supposed to be night right now. No, it's not. That's just been silly. Um, it's supposed to be exactly what it is. You're probably in what some people call another part of the world. But I appreciate your attempt to keep other people honest. But you do have an honest individual here. Where in the world are you? It's 1.21 p.m. in New Zealand. This is true. 1.22 on my end. But it's because I'm late seeing that. Thanks for the roses, guys. And tell us what the backstory of this painting is and how does it reflect on me? How does it reflect on me, the backstory of this painting? Look, um, there is not really a whole lot of backstory to it. Someone told me they wanted me to paint some uh, monks, and so 
I found this picture, I liked it. I liked how much background it had because it allowed me to get really expressive with it and wild. Um, and so that's what I'm up to. Um, but this is very much a fun piece added in amongst other commissions. So we're doing this one today, but I've got a portrait that we're starting up in Auckland shortly. And I've got a, what else have I got? AAA. Um, the horse and lady, that one's waiting over there too. I thought I'd just loosen up on this one first. And we go from there. Um, and we've got a subscriber, welcome, welcome, um, yeah, so this is just a fun piece, we're not going to get too intense with it, it wants to be loose and fun, I think I said that earlier, this one does not want to be intense. Um, it's such a big canvas, guys, that if it got too big and intense, we would run the risk of just, there'd just be no room that it would work in. The colours can be intense, but the actual picture itself needs to be light and fun. Clip my painting so it won't move. I mean, there's a variety of ways to do that, but... Uh, I think one thing you guys miss is actually how windy it is here. This is a big painting, it's literally like a sail, and so we are running the risk of losing it at any given stage. That's part of the fun. You're like, well, you could do this, you could do that. Of course I could, but I'm not gonna. I like the risk. I like the risk factor. Underprepared, I'm a fan of risk. We're here making that work for us. I am in New Zealand. It's gonna catch all the wind low. Yeah, so I've actually put it straight up and down now. So when it goes, it's coming straight at me. So I can catch it. You fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting Time after time That's me singing to the canvas If you fall, I will catch you, I'll be waiting Time after time Time after time Boom, 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 boom Key thing is, guys, when you start to get down to the uh, detail, big sweeping brush strokes are still important, but little ones, little ones, will build that detail that you're after. Oil paint straight from the tube onto the canvas. That's what we're up to. That's what we're doing. Welcome from the Philippines, time after time. I do have a soft spot for that song. By the way, you should clip, oh, that's that painting from before. The wind is blowing getting strong yep you're right your advice is sound my uptake is not i will keep doing it the way i'm doing it because i like to live dangerously and the wind has just stopped a little bit so we're going to take advantage of this little utopian period that i've been handed but it lures you into a false sense of security guys because what happens is straight after it goes quiet what happens it rips through so get ready to see me take a two meter canvas to the face i'm so ready uh, honestly with new zealand weather a clip wouldn't help probably not and welcome from malaysia um, i think we can all agree that i'm content taking this risk and it doesn't pay off I'll just laugh, it'll be fine. Told me that a hundred degrees. I know that did it today. The memories we made, I'm not for the sky. 
Hey guys, who knows the go when it comes to music on uh, um, TikTok? Am I allowed just to turn on my Spotify and go at it, or is that not okay? Um, armpit reveal. That's weird. I'm not going to do that. Um, I da, 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 do have a website. It's on sebastiangower.com. The link should be in the bio. Um, from the bio there, you'll find the website, you'll find Instagram. Um, you can message me via the email on the website. There's a phone number there, and there's also uh, the Instagram handle. Jump on any of it. And there's also artwork that's currently available, plus the ability to order commissions. So whatever suits you, you go for it. If you're after a custom-sized commission, then sometimes you're best to contact me direct, and we can work out something special. Um, get in fast if you are wanting it before Christmas, because we've probably already that already missed our window for overseas. But if you're in New Zealand, we can still sort you out. So we, I, um, yeah. Otherwise, if it doesn't matter if it's mid-January, um, then still great time to get in touch and we can work it out we can work it out here we go kissing on me I told you that a hundred degrees okay right away to look at it it's awesome you go for gold you can but on your description it says I don't own the right to any music Aha, do I need to write that, do I? Would that, does that fix it? Are you sure that fixes it? Because if that fixes it, I'll just go into Spotify right now and start crumping some tunes. Because I've got a few things stuck in my head. They're all love songs and cutesy things like Taylor Swift, but I still want it. I'm back to appreciate your art. Welcome, adult violin learner. I appreciate you being back. And I appreciate how passionate you are on learning the violin because that's a good hobby. And I hope you're doing a fantastic job. I bet you are. Just do it. Correct. Oh, we love Taylor Swift. Very nice. Um, yeah, but no, the problem is, Kayla, if I just do it, if it's like Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, <coughs> bless me. If it's like Instagram, Facebook, or YouTube, they'll just pull the stream off, and then it's all over Red Rover. So, it could fix it, but please, no Taylor. Um, look, I understand why we may not like Taylor, but we'd be foolish if we said the song You Belong With Me, or, um, what's the other one? Uh, Love Story. If we, if we'd be foolish, we wouldn't say those are great tunes. But I've got a cover stuck in my, stuck in my head right now, so that's what I'm navigating. Um, this is the one we're talking about, but we're hands already here just as the gust comes through. Told me that he had a day. The memories we made. I'm not bloody scum. Do do do. Sorry if I miss any comment, guys. Actually, her songs are such a jam. They are. They're in the right environment. Big fan of Shake. Play that on the dance floor. I'll come join. Shake, 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 shake the shake it. Not that I really shake it, but you know what? I appreciate her making the sentiment. Have you ever thought just maybe? Have I ever thought just maybe? I mean, all the time. It's very open-ended. Could be a whole range of things. Have I ever thought just maybe? I mean, you look over at the toaster in the morning after the toast pops up, 
And you think to yourself, just maybe that might be finished. Just maybe. But it sounds like, because you're saying it in caps, it's got far more meaning than what you're suggesting. But I don't know. Taylor Swift, not Adele. They're both okay. Which university preferred for me to enter for PhD level at Switzerland in Arts and Design? Jeepers. I wouldn't worry about the university as much as I would worry about making friends while you're there. And, uh, yeah. The biggest thing that's going to influence your art is the peers that you make while you're at university. The university, yes, will provide core opportunities and things. And it will be fantastic in its own right. But remember that it's gonna be the people you love and those around you who have the largest impact on your craft. And so with that in mind, uh, think less about the university and more about getting mentally prepared for the journey you're about to go on. I reckon, thank you so much, Jason, you're a champion. Um, Bahaha, that's the lyrics of You Belong With Me, is it? That's good, I like that song. Bad advice, terrible advice. Don't listen to your friends or your peers or your loved ones. Just focus on being an academic guru and forget the rest of it. Nah, wrong, very good advice. Trust your peers, trust your friends, trust your loved ones. That's how you go far as an artist. Art's made with love, not with pain and effort and all the rest of it. Effort, yes, that helps make art, but not with, not the stereotypical pain, late night style. That's not an artist. Drug high, college high and have 10 friends. I'd rather go to Harvard and have no friends than drink. I didn't say uh, party up and go to a silly high school. I meant value the loved ones in your life. And if you value the loved ones in your life, uh, you will have the ability to shape your own craft. Now, you can go to Harvard and have loved ones in your life. Um, you know, that's all right. But uh, if you think you'll go into a classroom and a teacher who's teaching 30 other children is going to have more of an impact on the way you do your art more than your brother, your best friend, your mother, your father. I mean, come on guys. You can learn hard skills anywhere in the world. All those videos are on YouTube now, it's not a secret. But you can't le learn how to have true passion for what you do. Passion for those around you. Howdy from Texas. Thank you, welcome from Texas. Pain does make art? It does, it does. But don't get trapped in the idea that only pain makes art. Art uh, doesn't have to be like that. Art, is, art can be sacrifice, you know, and all that sort of stuff. But actually, you can make art with love and you can make art with happiness and you can make art with excitement and all these things can make amazing art. Um, yeah. So, and honestly, if I was going to hang a piece of art on my wall, I'd want something with vigor, excitement, happiness, and all the rest of it, rather than pain. I don't think, I think pain's good to look at once, but then as in terms of a place to linger, I'd prefer something with vigor and happiness on my wall. But we can each be different. That's all right. Uh, is this for sale? Uh, this piece isn't finished yet, but it is, I mean, everything's for sale. Um, how much does this piece go for? It depends on shipping. It depends where you are in the world. Shipping can be a real tough one. But uh, in terms of this piece here, um, it's probably got about about two hundred to three hundred dollars of paint on it already. It's probably about a this is about a two two to two point four thousand dollar piece, give or take, around that vicinity. But we've still got to finish it, guys. Like it with this sort of abstract style. It's not a linear development. It can fall off the wagon any time. So it's hard to sort of quote on a piece before it's finished because if it falls off the wagon and doesn't look the way it needs to look, it's not really worth all that much. It's coming together nicely at the moment, but who knows where it could end up in another few layers. Um, yes, art is love, happiness, and even depression, it shows a lot. <laughs> Thanks, Justin. Yeah. Yes, indeed. I sort of have the belief in my own mind that if you make art in, in a positive mind frame and that you're happy doing the process and you enjoy it, then the outcome expresses that. And yeah, I think art has the ability. Uh, blah, 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 art has the ability 
to perpetuate the emotions that you feel as an artist. And so you have a responsibility as an artist to make sure you're perpetuating emo uh, emotions that you want to see more of in the world. Um, at least that's the way I see it. You look better. Oh, <laughs> sorry, bio student. I'll keep working on the painting. Um, I've had all my layers done on me. Uh, this painting's still going, so it's not a fair comparison. Thanks, Lee. You're the best. Hello from Miami Beach. Welcome. Do I sell? I do sell. Thanks, Chrissy. Um, you're the best. Uh, I do sell. There's a link in the bio to my website where you can purchase artwork, or you can contact me directly for commissions. Either way is fine. Both are encouraged. There's uh, regular size commissions available on the website, but depending on your space, you might want something special and size different. So we're gonna cater for, cater for everything. Someone keeps asking, am I single? I am not single. I am very, 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 times up by 17 again, taken. So I'm currently here because I want to enjoy this lovely summer day in New Zealand with you, this lovely painting. And if I can share some tips and make your day a little bit better, then we've done all the right things today. So that's wholesome. Um, is that your backyard? It's the front yard and it's not my yard, it's someone else's yard, but it's a lovely place to paint and there's great Wi-Fi. My depression that I went through when I painted some just crazy painting felt so much better. Perfect. So that's really interesting. If you've got, if you've got your stuff going on, like for example, like you've said depression there, and painting helped alleviate that, there's a small chance or a large chance that that painting will have the ability to actually help someone else by viewing it, um, if it had that effect on you by making it. So, and if that's the case, guys, I mean, God, you must sleep well at night knowing that you've put something out in the world that's literally making people's lives easier and better. So kudos to you, Justin, you're an absolute champion. Do you prefer oils more than acrylics? I do. Look at this stuff. Look how saturated that is as a color. It's so orange. Oils have so much power in their color, so much more than acrylics, and they dry the same color that you put on there. So acrylics are still good, but you require a little more thinking to make sure they actually nail the color palette you're after. Oils though, you're like orange, orange, blue, blue. And there's, a, there's, something, there's something really special about just slamming around color like that. So, but don't do these inside. You'll blow the head off your shoulders. You just want to do them inside. Uh, sorry, don't do these inside. You just want to do them uh, outside. His partner is so adorable. He brought her on the live a while ago. I did, I did. She was so nervous, guys. And uh, I really, really, really appreciate you all being so cool because all the compliments that came up um, afterwards and things, uh, she was over the moon about, so. Props to all of you. I appreciate how lovely you all are. Kayla, you're a hero. And I appreciate each and every one of you. Does all of New Zealand look as beautiful as we were, where I am right now? Uh, yes, yes and no. A lot of it does look like this. We're a small little island. There's lots of sun. All the jazz goes down, so. Um, the painting is single. The painting can be yours. But yes, I am off the market, sadly. Not sadly, I'm stoked about it. I couldn't be happier. Please, leave a sold out sign on me. There we go. Um, yes, this is insane. Uh, oh, well, glad you're enjoying it. Um, unless what you're saying is, I hate that you missed it. Don't worry, I'll drag her on another time, Cobb. Um, she's not here right now, so I can't, but uh, yeah. Um, if we do any boxings, so next time I ship some artwork overseas and I'm boxing it up and things, she comes to help me make sure the layers go on evenly and whatnot. So I might do a live on that so you can actually see how we box them up and uh, do that process because if you're shipping art, that's fun to know. Um, <laughs> I will do, Kayla. Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just go like this. This is the best way to do it. I just screenshot that and I'll send it to her after the live. So that way, it's like you told her, which is very wholesome. Love your art, thank you user, you're the best, Zam. Is that a new funky term? Guys, you gotta be careful with me, eh? Um, 
I wasn't cool in high school, let alone now. So when you use funky terms, you've got to like do that little Luigi here to explain thing where you tell me what it means. Um, I only learned, I learned about three weeks ago what no cap meant um, and a couple of other things. Um, emojis, you really catch me off guard with emojis. Um, yeah. Remember, way back in the day, this is, this is how silly I am. Way back in the day, when um, I used to be on Tinder, and when I was on Tinder, all these people were matching with me and saying, Netflix and chill, question mark. And it was when Netflix was first coming out, and I was seeing all these messages come up. And I'm like, why do all these people just want a movie? What want to watch a movie? That's the most boring date I can think of. If I'm gonna waste a date on a, a waste a day on a random date, then I'd like to do something more fun. And so I'm just like muting all these people saying that. And then later on I realized, you know, like way after, I realize I get told that Netflix and chill means something completely different than sitting down and watching a movie. Because so I was thinking, I don't I want nothing to do with that. Um, yeah. But obviously it's not that. I have to get back to work. Have a great day, Seb. You have a great day too. Um, that is, yes, it's Cobb. You have a great day, Cobb, and good luck at work. Whatever you do for work, I bet you nail it. So best wishes to you. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm talking about like four or five years ago, though, like when it was just sort of coming out. I was, I was not in the loop, and that is still going on all over the show. What's the oil painting called? and awesome weather, trade blazers. Yeah, I'll keep this place, but I like the gesture. Um, this oil painting has no name, um, but I don't try and do very deep names unless I'm trying to let you know about something deep inside the work. Usually I name it something that allows you to find it, and I let the artwork speak for itself. So this might just be called Two Monks, because Two Monks is the easiest way if you're like, I wonder what that picture is he was working on. And you search for it, two monks, and this shows up. That's the easiest way to do it. Um, the other works are called things like old lady, aboriginal, old man, lady and horse. The idea is just to make sure it's easy for you to find the work later. Um, like a archiving solution. Um, so when I look at the work, I think what's the easiest thing to call this to help you guys find it? That's what I call it. But uh, yeah, if you wanted to deep dive the painting more, um, that would come at the end of the painting. Um, if it's really significant, I'll send videos with the painting about me telling you about the whole painting story or a little written blurb about it. But usually I like to actually sit down, record a 10 minute video and send you that and it will tell you everything about the painting. All the stages I went through, the challenges, the hurdles, where we got to, where we are at now and how happy I am with the end result because a lot of the time, guys, you might be happy with 95% of it, but there might be one little part where you think as an artist, that part wasn't nailed. And it's sort of cool that if you buy a piece of artwork and there's one little part in that artwork, you're like, ah, I'm gonna buy it, I like it, but that one little part is niggly. If the artist actually says to you, yeah, I battled with that part because of this, you're like, oh, special, okay, so I'm not just missing the appreciation of it, I'm on the same page as the artist that that little part there was a battle. So that's wholesome. Um, how do I choose my color scheme? Sorry if I missed any other questions there, guys, because I was just waff not that, waffling. But uh, I picked the color scheme by... Ba, 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 ba. Um, first off, I open up with the blacks and darker colors, slap those on, usually in acrylic, so they can dry fast, and then I come back, and at the moment, we're just using straight out of the tube, saturated colors. So what I'm trying to do is grab the correct tonal areas add on the saturated colors because you know what this painting's pretty cool but i didn't think it was fun enough so we're making it more fun does a painting have any meaning um look my goal with this painting is to capture two monks i want to capture two monks but actually most of all i just want to create a work that if you walk past it in someone's house or in a cafe you'd be like oh, that's fun that's pretty cool and then if you were sitting down, like that's it, it's all you want. And then if you're sitting down in that cafe later and you're having your coffee and there was nothing else to stare at and you've got no notifications on your phone and you're just looking around for something to stare at and you end up staring at this for five minutes or so, that every minute longer you stared at it, it would give you more. There was this uh, 
reward it would keep giving you for the longer you looked at it. And that comes with expression and detail and layers and things like this. So I want this painting to keep showing you more the longer you look. That would be the best. Yeah, after you've looked at it and thought that's fun. That's all we want. That's all we're up to. Thanks, Jason. <laughs> Appreciate that. I'm actually a real nerd. I, uh, this morning and last, uh, sorry, last night when I was doing my family time, I was playing trading cards with my brother. So that's what I was up to. Wild. Um, so it's gallery art. Uh, problem with a gallery is you go in there to view art. And so usually in that sense, you need art to have a real wow factor. What's going to really, what's your hook, you know? Um, does this have wow factor? I suppose it does. Um, yeah. I think, like I was saying earlier, the best place to view this artwork is somewhere, a space where you spend um, time with other people. Uh, so imagine this big room, corner of the living room, adding a bunch of color to it. Um, not in your face with an image, but enough for you to look at and enjoy color and splashed around paint for your day. That's where I get to with that. Thanks, Brad, you're a champion. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Um, just having a look down the list here. How tall am I? 5'9", although it's irrelevant because I can adjust the easel to wherever I like, so yeah. Other than art, what other hobbies do I have? What other hobbies do I have? A bunch of regular ones. I like to, I got dragged out bouldering the other day. I haven't done it at all, but I enjoyed myself. Can we call that a hobby? Um, I like trying to keep fit, guys. Um, I try to run, I try to go to the gym, but life gets busy. Um, I'm pretty basic in the sense that I do like traveling. I like seeing new places. I love Indonesia. Um, I like to... I like to party with my close friends. I love to dance and sing in the shower, cook for people I care about, um, sit down and watch an old school movie with people I care about. Um, what else do I like doing? I don't know, pretty basic on the scale of things actually. I like basic things. I'm an easy man to please. Uh, bros, <laughs> thank you. Uh, no, I'm, yeah. I'm just a Kiwi with a canvas. Um, have you been to USA? Come to Iowa if you ever come to USA. I've been through all the states in America. Some of them twice, some of them three times, some of them five times. I've been there a lot. Can I dance right now? But to what, guys? There's no music. We talked about this. I need someone to tell me what the copyright rules are. I try to Google them, but I don't get very far. So, look, I'm hoping that I'll find out. I will do a proper search tonight, guys, because I reckon some music could be really, really wholesome. But we'll see. V, we'll see. All the states, yes, yes indeed. So I've been to the states five times, and then each time, most of the times I've grabbed a bus, uh, sorry, not a bus, a van, and just gone from one side to the other side. And in that process, I've seen most of the states. So I went top part, down the bottom part, dipped and dived, diagonal lines, non-diagonal lines, just everywhere. And so that allowed me to see most of the states. That was that process. Can't read that. Um, Eon, we've answered that question, but thank you for asking it again. Um, if anyone is interested in catching these as well, if you miss one, or if you want to just put me on in the background, except it won't be live, but you can catch them on YouTube. So I've just taken to grabbing the full video off, uploading it to YouTube, and uh, you can watch it there. Now, the main reason for that is a bunch of people wanted to paint along with me or um, they work weird hours and couldn't, um, yeah, it was hard to do it, but they liked it in the background. So 
It's on YouTube if you want it. You can find them on, um, I think you can go through my website in the bio to get to YouTube. And they're all right there. Um, yeah, pretty wholesome, pretty wholesome. So adding lots of color here, we're making good ground. Um, I'm gonna move over to this side a little bit because I wanna add some color to our other mate. So let me bring you up here a little more guys. Here we go. You love my art, thank you so much. Um, there we go. We're gonna work on this guy. We've really attacked that guy. So come with me over here. I'm glad you love it. Um, yeah. That's our goal right now. We just wanna make some art, spread some love. Oh, here comes the wind. Just hold this for a little bit. Do you work on multiple paintings at once? Yes, I do. So I've got about 15 going at the moment. Um, yeah, just keep adding colour to it. Slowly build it up. Build me a buttercup, baby, just to let me down. And pull me around, worst of all. You never call baby when you say you will And I love you still, I need you More than anyone darling da -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da. So fill me up But it can't, don't break my heart What a tune Great video clip too Fill me up But it can't, baby just to let me down I wish um, Van Gogh is my number one. I love his pictures. I absolutely love them. I think, uh, was he the best technical painter of all time? Absolutely not. Was he the best at capturing, um, capturing something very simple through paint? Like in terms of using paid paint using paint in its real primal form to capture a moment or something special i don't know find me someone better guys i don't think there is i think that was van gogh and like when it comes to actually capturing a subject through paint i think everyone since van gogh is just one long footnote that's just that's just me that's what i reckon hang on i'm coming with a can of tobacco are you going to throw it at my art or are you going to eat it? I don't know what's going on there. Uh, when did you start painting? Probably, uh, we had paint supplies around since I was, I was a toddler. So, we'll put it at two. Can we do two? Two's good. Thanks, Lauren. Head to work soon, teaching kids to swim. Have a good Arvo. Hope to hear back from you soon. Thanks, Kayla. And uh, I didn't know you did that. That's fantastic. Um, I hope it's outside so you can enjoy this phenomenal weather. Um, but if it's not, I'm sure you will get some sun at some stage. You're the best, Kayla. I'll see you next time. Kayla's one of the OGs, guys. She's been around since day dot. And, yeah. We've got a few OGs around here. I lose track of them, but there are a few. All right. Where are we at? This guy, I keep being distracted. Uh, so, it's a bit hard though because the top of this piece keeps going. Oh, that was a challenging breeze. Hold on, Super Team. Spin this one around here. Just need that one to stay there, so I can just uh, put it here. Seen it almost fall off. Uh, I like the risk. I like the fun. So, if you're going to paint outside, you've got rain and you've got wind. It's part of the gig. Part of the gig. There we go. 
and let's stick this one. If that one's going to hold down that corner. Let's use this one to hold down this corner. Yeah, come on. There we go. And then this one can hold down the bottom. There we go. Perfect. Now we're away. We'll bring this around to here. Imagine all the people. I'll bring you a bit closer here, guys. There we go. How are we doing there? We're gonna be. Sorry, you're gonna miss out on the uh, other half, but uh, we need to hit up this guy here. How long does it take to finish an artwork? This one's been going for a wee, wee while, guys, because I just keep not being happy with it. So that's how we keep applying new layers. We'll keep going until I am happy. And I will let you know when that is. But we haven't hit that stage yet. Um, what was I going to say? I was going to say. Ba -da -ba -bum -bum. Yeah. But when you, when you don't want to part with the artwork, that's when you're up to the right space. So if you're doing commissions and you're not sure when it's finished, it's finished when you like it, when you want to keep it, where you'd be happy if you could refund them and keep the artwork. That's when you know you've reached the right place with your commission. How do you determine what, when a piece is done? Exactly like that. So, if you'd be happier keeping the artwork from the cash you've been paid for the commission, that's when it's in the right place and you should keep going until you hit that point and if you never reach that point because you think oh look i want the cash because i don't really like my artwork um that's okay but uh let's have a little bit of a deep dive into why you don't love your art because um you want to love what you make it's not a necessity but it's definitely a good thing if you can love your own art, that's a, that's a win in my books. Hello, welcome Vladimir. And how do you keep positive daily? Please, please tell me how to be positive daily. Please share the secrets of positivity. Um, how do you say positive daily? Uh, there's a lot of people who talk about this um, and probably I'm not qualified to talk on it but, but uh, staying happy is something that you do not straight away you can't just decide one day I'm gonna be happy you make small movements to put yourself in a position that allows you to be happy um, when I sometimes I have to look at myself and check myself and I think, right, how am I doing right now? I'm actually not all that happy. I'm feeling lethargic. I'm feeling, I'm feeling not energetic. I'm not feeling, you know, maybe all sorts of things. What are you feeling? You think, okay, what am I missing right now that may be causing this? You think, okay, I didn't really eat that well. Not just for the last few days, but for the last few weeks. In fact, if you tested me, I might be uh, deficient in a bunch of vitamins and minerals. So... If you're trying to figure out why a car isn't running well, well, if it's missing out on its uh, radiator fluid and its oil, that's a really good place to start. So, first off, stay happy. Get your vitamins and minerals. That's important. Figure out what you need to get those. Don't get them from your diet. Get them from a pill. Just get them. Drink lots of water. God, jeepers, 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 jeepers. If you look at farm animals, dogs, anything, pets, dehydrate them. Don't do that, but if you did, how are they going to look? They're going to be really unhappy. They're going to look lethargic and act depressed. Being dehydrated sucks. And yet we'll do it to ourselves, excuse my language, by drinking a million coffees a day, like I do, and not drinking any water. Don't do it. Drink lots of water. Get your vitamins and minerals. And then once you've done those two things, then I look at it and think, right, what else am I missing? Ah, I haven't walked in weeks. Go for a walk, Seb. I realize, okay, I haven't taken some big breaths outside. I haven't gone for a walk. I haven't worked out. Um, that's like looking at a car 
Like imagine having a car in Canada and being like, I don't know, I just turn the engine on sometimes and expect it to go to 100k straight away and it won't drive for me. That's because it's been sitting in negative 40 all night. Warm it up. Warm up your engine. So go for, I know you didn't expect this lecture, but you're getting it now. <laughs> um, yeah. So it's, it's not about doing an incredibly big workout or joining a gym or all this wild stuff. Just a little walk, go outside, get some fresh air, enjoy it. Um, and from there, if I've got my vitamins, my minerals, my water, and a little bit of exercise, then I start looking at it and wondering, what am I doing? Am I happy if I get those things? Because if I'm getting those things and I've had them for a few weeks, then I can look at it again, review it and go, okay, I'm doing things that everyone's telling me to do, like work, like uh, side projects, like all this sort of stuff, and I've moved all my projects out of the way. So what is it that makes me happy? Find some time, do that. Um, like, uh, and I'm not saying find some time to sit down and paint. Could be, that's my thing. Uh, for you, it could be I need to find some time to get out of my hometown and go somewhere else and see something. I need to find some time to have some really good quality food. Maybe, you, maybe you're a little bit of a foodie. Maybe you like restaurants. Are you finding time to do that? Are you, are you doing that for yourself? Um, maybe you like to cook and you've got into a little bit of a rut right now where you're just having heat and eat meals and not buying any ingredients in or not uh, looking up new recipes to sort of fulfill that part of you. You need to figure out what that part is and uh, I'm not saying never let someone stop you from doing it, but definitely, definitely figure out ways that you can perpetuate more of it because you getting your fulfillment is no one else's responsibility and them giving you jobs that may take away from your fulfillment is not their fault, it's just them needing things from you because you're a valuable individual. So, yeah. That's... Uh, that's the whole yarn. That's how you stay happy all the time. You prefer the suit pants. Jeevers. How come every time I wear a pair of pants, everyone prefers the other pair of pants? Can't make everyone happy, guys. But I can tell you this. Whatever pants that I turn up in, I'm happy. So I'm sorry I've let you down on the pants front. But you know what? I've let you down with a smile on my face. Maybe next time we'll be in the suit pants. But again, I make zero promises. Because what I wear in the morning is the place where I get my own freedom. So that's wholesome. Thanks for the insight. You are welcome. Oh my God, you're from Australia. We're in New Zealand, but you're super close. It may as well be the same place. What's been your favorite project to work on so far? Mm, 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 mm. I've liked all of them. It's very hard to put one above the others. Um, how much you pay for your outfits? So I try and buy them uh, from the op shop because I believe in recycling. Well, recycling. I like op shops. I like being able to get a good deal from an op shop. I think it's really wholesome if you can uh, give clothes a second go around. If I'm not buying from an op shop, I like Rebel Sport. Get myself some good sportswear. New sportswear is fun, but you know it's stuff. Warehouse, warehouse for singlets, um, farmers, or torpedo seven for undies. I'm just a classic Kiwi. Uh, hi, both of you. Kisses for each one. Thank you. Hi from Taiwan. Welcome. Welcome from Taiwan. I want a, that's wholesome. That is very wholesome. I said it once, I'll say it again. I love it how the internet gives us the ability to connect with so many people from around the world. It's really, really novel. Happy birthday for yesterday, man. Fair enough. Happy birthday. 
Um, whose birthday was it? Who had a birthday? Good on you, whoever had the birthday. Proud of you. Another trip around the sun. One more ride in my trip around the sun. Bada bing ba boom. Ba 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 ba. Love the colors. I'm very glad. I'm very glad. Thank you so much, man. Oh, it's Mason's birthday for yesterday. Happy birthday, Mason. Do they dry a different color? This is oils. They will not. They'll dry that same saturated color that we've. Whoop, that was lousy. Now noisy. They'll dry the same saturated color that we've added to it. So there will not be that much difference, which I'm a big fan of. Because the saturated color is what we're after. Bada bing ba boom. Bada bing ba boom. The sun just can't decide what it wants to do. So I'm just putting these glasses on and taking them off and putting them on. Imagine all the people living for today. Beep, 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 beep. Excuse me, guys. It's just seen to myself why I had this paint on. So this is a darker color. It's the green now, and I'm just adding it in quite thick. Just areas that were black before that don't need to be just black. We're going to get a little bit of green to them. That's wholesome. We're just slowly building up these textures. You're overwhelmed. I hope you're right. Um, I love that you can do what you do love every day. It's actually amazing. Thanks, Mason. And uh, I love that it was your birthday yesterday. So we're both wowed. Oh, yep, fair enough. <laughs> Thanks, Ember. Um, Weird question for you, your accent is awesome. Are there different accents in different parts of New Zealand? There's a slight difference between New Zealand and, uh, sorry, North Island and South Island, but really it's minor. Um, we all sound relatively the same. Again, another slight difference between New Zealand and Australia, but really not enough to, not enough to, um, for the rest of the world to really mind. We'd spot it. We'd be like, oh, that's an Aussie. But, uh, you know, who else in the world has time for that? Look at this. Coming together, guys. But like I say, we could ruin this with any stroke. So, I want to get excited about it. But when you're doing this sort of abstract stuff, we could lose it at any time. Lots to take in here. Yeah, lots of colors, lots of layers, lots of stuff. Um, once we're finished with these greens, we're gonna move on to the BDD lighter greens. So we've got a bit of time to spend on these greens. Not this color alone, but both the colors. Imagine all the people. So at the moment, a lot, yeah, a lot of these areas that are actually much more tonally different are just black. And so these darker colors, like these greens and the blues, are really gonna help me create diversity in those darker spaces, which is what makes the painting more interesting to look at over long periods of time. It's that depth of the color. You need that depth. Thanks for sharing the live, Dave. You're a champion. What's my favorite song? Ooh. Ooh. It's funny you ask that because I was actually just on the top songs for Spotify for 20... 22. 
So it was like, hey, listen to your top songs, see what they are. And I'm like, I would love to do that. Number one, top song, Spotify for Sebastian Gower for 2022 is Stone by Whiskey Myers. S-T-O-N-E by Whiskey Myers. So if you want to add that to your playlist, you go for gold. An absolute soft spot for that particular song. Um, dimension is key. Yep. Dimension is pretty important. Pretty important. Is it the most important thing? Who knows? Who knows? You say night is like a dancer. Backstage, just out of sight. And we're just gonna use up what we got here. Here we go. And it goes. They say night is like a dancer. Backstage, out of sight. The thing about Stone too, guys, is when I first heard it, I didn't hear. Uh, well, I still don't hear it, but I hear a lot of lyrics differently, and that's just me. So he says, Jesus was a poor man, I heard Jesus was a bull man, which I thought was a cool lyric. Um, and uh, night is like a dagger, I heard the night is like a dancer. So, what am I trying to tell you? I prefer my version, but Stone's still a great song. You don't have to tell me. Um, ah, all right. Captain Comedy, thanks for sharing the live. You're a champion, and I recognize that uh, profile pic. Welcome back. Most thing is you're happy with what you create. Yes, yes, 100%. If you love what you create, um, you may not find your people straight away, but people will also love what you make. So first and foremost, try and figure out how to love what you make and from there from there the rest will just follow well yeah find your people there we go all right it's coming along guys it's coming along you look really familiar Amy do I? Um, my name is Sebastian Gower from New Zealand. I live in the Bay of Plenty. I've recently moved to Auckland. Does that help? Might do. Hello Seb, how are you? Welcome back Eveline. Good to see you. It's been a while. I'm good. How have you been? They say night is like a dancer. Backstage, you're out of sight. Go. I'll be back in just a second guys. I've got my water bottle just over there Give me just a moment. It's oil paints and do you ever get artist block? I do. I'll tell you all about it when I come back Absolutely. I'm back. Thanks for being patient, guys. Um, so, Amy doesn't help, but thanks for trying. Acrylic paint, wow, th thanks, Eveline. Um, so, I do get artist block. I get artist block by. Um, sometimes when you run at it, I think uh, I had a guy, a friend of mine called uh, Zach, called Artist Burnout. So it happens when you're doing a lot of canvases or a lot of art non-stop, and then all of a sudden it's like you're just locked, you're, you're, you're stuck. And uh, yeah, there's, it's very, very hard to charge through. So your solutions to get out of Artist Block 
or uh, artist burnout is to drop all your tools for an hour or a day, or some period of time, just to actually bring yourself back to a baseline and then you can pick up and charge again. Um, or maybe you're blocked up because you just don't know where to put the paint on the canvas. It's just terrifying the idea of starting and mixing up a palette and then just knowing where to put it. It sounds horrifying and I can sympathize. So if that's what you're battling with, um, best way to do it, start a new piece on a cheap board or paper, something cheap, and uh, once you've finished it, plan it beforehand, but once you've finished it, throw it away. And that, I mean, you're like, that sounds like horror. And if it does sound like horror, the more it sounds like horror is probably the more you need to do it. But make a piece of artwork and just really enjoy making it and throw it away at the end. Because when you throw it away, subconsciously your brain will be thinking, okay, no matter what I do here, it's not going to be kept. So I'll just have fun. So you'll loosen up and you'll finally remember or be reminded why you paint. It's the process, you love it, it's fun, you feel a flow state. Now, by the end of it, you're gonna love the piece, but please, 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 don't trick your brain and then lie to it by keeping the piece, because you're gonna do this over and over again. Do the piece of artwork, throw it away, and suddenly your block will have cleared, because you're, well, it's likely to have cleared, because your brain subconsciously is now remembering, okay, it wasn't to do with what we were finished, what we were finishing or what we were making, it was to do with how we were making it. That was the key part. And once you go back fundamentally to how you're making it as the number one port of call for what's the most important piece, then what happens? Suddenly the end result gets good again. So it's like, uh, yeah, that's what I reckon. That's what I reckon. Do you sell your paintings, Diana? Welcome, Diana. Um, I do sell the paintings, so you can get them on my website, the link's in the bio, or you can contact me directly for pieces like, a few of them, like these ones we're working on here, aren't listed yet. Um, you can obviously grab a hold of those too, and if you want something special, then get a hold of me and we can do a commission for you. I can do a commission for you, because you might want something special just for you. Or you may have joined on this live, been a part of the process and thought, actually, that's the special one for me, Seb. I want that one. And that happens. Uh, more often than more often than you'd realise, I reckon. So, yeah, wholesome. Um, otherwise, just hang out here with me. Being a part of this New Zealand nature, and hopefully I can give you a little bit of inspiration or good mood to go attack your day with. If I achieve that, we've done good. Thanks, Harold. <laughs> um, which artist inspired you the most? Van Gogh, love Van Gogh, everything about him. Picasso, love, Van, uh, love Picasso as well. Um, I really think they put a huge amount of value on the process of making the art, and the end result just shows that every stroke had passion for just creating something beautiful. So. Love those two artists. I never know where to start. Thanks for the tips. I hope they help, Amy. Um, if you never know where to start, like I say, uh, plan to throw away the work. And if you do that, typically it becomes very, very easy to know where to start because the end point suddenly doesn't matter. So if you don't care where an arrow goes, pretty easy to draw a bow. And all that time you spent on it, consider that an investment into how great the next work is going to now be. Like pulling back an arrow. Board. Pistacio. Papa Cito. Papacito? I think I understand. I don't understand. I try to understand. Um, hey bro, Hitty, welcome back. Just a quick drop in to show the vibes for the stream. Thanks, Hitty. Appreciate you stopping by. Good to have you. Been a while since I've seen you, actually. I hope you're looking after yourself. Here we go, let's go right around the sides of the canvas. So this work's gonna actually, that's right, I forgot about this. This work's actually gonna include no frame. This is not a framed piece, guys. With this work, it's literally 
going to be right the way the edges with the paint. So, big fan of that. There we go, now we're talking. Wholesome as hell. Uh, do you paint for a living, Ember? I do, I do. Well, I paint for half of a living. Um, painting keeps me fed. Painting keeps the lights on. So yeah, I suppose so. Don't worry, I can understand you. Perfect. Yeah. Being busy, bro, but I drop in when I can. Keep up the great work. Peace. Thanks, Hitty. And uh, peace to you too. Look after yourself. I hope the work's all paying off for you. Or hopefully one day it does. If it isn't right now. There we go. Do you enjoy sketching and drawing as well as painting only? Um, I enjoy, oh, do I enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoy sketching and drawing. I do like uh, charcoal, probably the most out of all those mediums, so. Charcoal, um, but no, paint's, paint's my favorite. I love color. Can't go past color, guys. Color's the best. For me anyway. Keller's not your thing? That's all good. You do your thing. But Keller's my thing. I love Keller. Keller, Keller, Keller. Here we go. Um, how did you learn to do this? Um, so, when it comes to learning, everyone's got their own unique style. So this is, this is the style that I fall back on. If you strip away all the layers, and just tell me to paint. And you just get my raw, real style that I want to do. Once you strip back all the lessons, all the tutoring, all the fine arts stuff, this is how I want to make art. This is where I believe my style actually is special and where I can make stuff that I personally love. And in that sense, people see it and they uh, feel the same way about it as I do. Not everyone. Some people hate it, but uh, that's okay. You do you. Um, but the important thing is, I can really, um, yeah, I fall in love with the style. So this is just the way I paint. Um, everyone's got a different style. So if you want to learn this one, if you think this might match your style, um, then yeah, I'd love to teach you. But uh, if you think actually your style is slightly different, Aim for that. You do you, because this isn't the, this isn't the only style in the whole world. There's so many amazing styles out there, and one of them will bode really well with you in a really special way. Here we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. Hey, thanks. Uh, I, what, where did they go? Thanks, uh, Diego. Appreciate the wishing bottle. And uh, thank you. Ah, love your art. Thanks, Diego, again. Dre, hello. And uh, do you offer online training courses for painting? I don't, um, but I do do one-on-one uh, -on -one courses. And I do do... Uh, painting sessions. So if you've got a few friends and you all want to do a big session together um, And we can go weird and wild have some fun over Google meets then get in touch and we can work something out um, Can be pretty fun for a hen's night um, Or something Hen's nights are usually the uh, hen's nights or uh, yeah family gatherings Family gatherings are wholesome. It was really good over COVID because people were all separated. So coming together and doing a craft can be a really stimulating, fun thing. 
So those are options. Uh, they're not listed on the website right now. I've been hard into commissions, so I've probably missed a few op missed a few people there. But um, yeah, it's still available, but you have to contact me directly. Uh, use to paint ink, oil paint, and watercolor. That's cool, Herman. It's pretty cool. When I start this painting, long time ago, actually, like how long ago was it now? Four months ago. But we haven't been doing it non-stop for four months. It's been touch and go. So at the moment, um, I've probably spent about nine hours on it. That's very, very thick on paint and its growth hasn't been linear. It's been all over the show. So <laughs> thanks, JC, appreciate you. Um, appreciate you times three. Excuse me, my English is retarded. Ah, oh, yeah, fair enough. Thank you for coming on my FYP again. I'm usually... <laughs> That's cool. I'm glad. I'm glad. Where is your gallery expo? So, there's been a gallery I've been talking to in Christchurch who want to put some work up. But um, I've had some trouble because I've been doing a lot of commissions, so I haven't been able to build up a body of work. Um, but I'm getting a few now. Getting a few, and once I get them all, I will ship them down there in a container and it'll be on display. But for right now, there's just the stuff on the website. Um, so, there's that. It's a matter of time before I go back there. Matter of time. Yeah, but if you want to check out the uh, artworks that are available, guys, you can go on the website of my bio or contact me directly for commissions or there's a link for uh, general commissions on the website too. Um, and we can work something out. Uh, also, also, so, so, if you're enjoying the stream and you're having fun with me here, then... You can help me to spread a bit of love by sharing the stream so more people can uh, get some of my grain of salt advice or um, yeah help the world out by sharing some love how very wholesome of us um, love the colors I am glad just in time to catch the paint yeah yeah <laughs> yeah, so I was very, very close to losing it, um, which was uh, part of the risk of being outside. We take these risks, guys. It's all right. I know what I'm in for. I will take these risks. When your left hand's free, down. When your left hand's free Sorry guys, back in just a moment, just uh, spreading out this paint here. And then I got some on my hand. What an idiot. I love your style and process, thank you very much. Appreciate you. I don't know how you sleep. Um, pretty soundly. Um, yeah. Very soundly knowing that I may have improved someone's day by being here. That, that will help me sleep. Um, so, that's what this is all about. Um, plus, it's a real pleasure to share this craft with you guys. Because, um, I don't know where you are in the world or what you're up to, but you may not have the opportunity in front of you to paint, and so let me bring this humble little craft to the box in your phone. 
fun, fun. Damn, I was hoping you could get it on your shirt. Yeah, this one's a black shirt though, so it wouldn't really be that noticeable. But it's just a, for the Kiwis and Aussies out there, Bintang singlet, we get those in Indonesia. Hope you come to Art Museum in Bangkok. Me too. I wanna to be in an art museum in Bangkok. That'd be cool. But I need to build up some artwork first. So, if you know anyone in Bangkok with an art museum, we might want to ship some big pieces of work over there or fly me over there to make some big pieces of work we can work something out how fun would it be pretty fun when your left hand is free The wind, yeah, yeah, it's trouble. I dress in slacks more. I like the dress, ah, uh, fair enough. Um, I love your style, the bull rider was awesome too. Thanks, Shell. Um, is that Shelby? Shelby, thanks, Shelby. Um, so the bull rider's finished now. Um, I'll put a coat of protective layer on top of it, and then I will ship it off to the owner of that painting. Um, it's got a frame that it goes in. So that's a classic example of uh, reusing things because the frame actually uh, was from an op shop. So I bought the frame from an op shop, popped out the canvas, painted the canvas, and now I pop the canvas back in and it all fits perfectly. Very, very wholesome way to make art. Reusing, recycling. There we go. The blue thumb is getting you. Blue thumb. Oh, this blue thumb. I was like, where's the blue thumb? Um, yeah, sorry about that. I got something in my hand and it's not going anywhere. Um, <laughs> thanks, JTD. I am do Brazil. Fantastic. I would love to do Brazil too. I'm glad you're having fun over there. Um, <laughs> thanks, Gina. Um, never mind. That look like ah. Thanks, mate. Um, and fancy water bottle, right? Very happy with it. So this water bottle is yeah, it is just water, but uh, mm. it's from the fridge, so it's nice and cool. Just a good way to have your water. And I hope we're starting to like how the faces are coming out because they're getting close to how I actually want them to be. I want them to be blotchy. I want them uh, to be a series of strokes and to sort of uh, have a bit of ambiguity to them because that's part of what makes them not stare you down if you're in a room with them. I want them to be in the room with you but be subtle. That's the goal here. This art doesn't want to engulf the room just wants to have a lot of colour to have fun in the room with you. Uh, do not get paint in your water bottle, my friend. I've got it on the sides, but it's a oil paint, so I can rub it off. But uh, don't worry, I won't drink the paint, I swear. 
um, that. Hold on. We're gonna just get rid of that one there. There we go. I think. Did I fix it? Uh, there we go like this. There we go. Sorry about that guy, guys. I'm not sure what he or her was thinking, but uh, that's not very nice. So we prefer people to be nice and loving by preference. This is way better than the hey hey. What's the hey hey room? Hey hey. Sounds kind of fun. I want to go to the hey hey room. Thailand, welcome from Thailand. It would actually grab my attention if I'd seen it in a room. Yeah, yeah, so it wants to, it will grab your attention with color, but it doesn't want to be overly um, aggressive with the um, characters jumping out at you. We don't want to be OTT. So all I want to do is have the image like, oh cool, that's exciting. And then later on you can look at it more and get more out of the characters in the image. That's what we're up to. Um, I mean, possibly, possibly. Um, <laughs> um, hmm. How do you balance? <laughs> That's a funny question. Funny, funny, funny. You're charismatic. New Zealanders and Aussies are the nicest people in my opinion. Oh, thanks, Jason. Um, some of us aren't very nice. <laughs> nah, most of us are nice. We do our best. We're such a little country that we need to look after the rest of the world and be polite, because, you know, Glad to hear to see it isn't raining. Yes, very exciting for it not to be raining. Very exciting, so. Mm. Mm. What color next, team? What color next? I think, I think, 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 we're gonna do some black. Come here, deep dark black, there we go. Here we go. Get some of this paint down here. <clears throat> does the weather play a part? Yes, it does. If it's raining, then that'll have a huge effect. If it's not raining, and that has a big effect. And if it's trying to rain, 
and that has an impact. What am I trying to say? I'm trying to say it all has an impact. Where are we at? So, guys, fire. Thank you so much, Stacy. It's beautiful and peaceful outside. That's good. I'm happy for you. I'm thinking it's painter. Uh, this canvas is size 68, I think. I think, 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 think. Um, do you like watercolor? I have to visit someday. Please do. I hope you have sunscreen on. I do not. Um, yeah, so we'll get, we'll get a little bit cooked, but it'll be alright. It'll be alright. Here we go. go sorry guys I missed some comments here he's a little red from those <laughs> um, so I am gonna get a little bit burnt but it's gonna be all right guys I'm gonna survive I'm gonna survive I'm just gonna get this bit of paint in here in here down here. Oh, that's a big glob. There we go. And down here. And down in here. Where else do we need it? Over here. Over here. Over here, slowly building up those layers. One pain stroke at a time, slowly, slowly. Yep, no big globs. True, true, true. The bee is flying close. I missed the bee. I'm glad he missed me. I don't like the bee. Oh, I do like bees. Bees don't like me. They sting me. It's bad news. Long time no see. Welcome back to Digital New Zealand. <laughs> Thanks for fireworks, Palisha. 
you're the bomb. Good to see you again. I missed you. Um, properly, can you see properly the colors of sunglasses on? Yes, you can. They're so saturated, and from the angle of lighting right now, we're golden. We are golden. Uh, the painting is looking great. Love how it's turning out. Thanks, Jason. It's coming together slowly. And how do you see colors you're applying with sunglasses? Ah, so, very saturated angle of light. I think I answered that one before. And how are you doing it today, Belisha? How are you doing? Hmm. Why can't this be done in Speedos? Ah, uh, too much sunburn. It'd be too much. Um, some people should paint you doing a painting. Uh, there was actually a guy who did. His name was uh, Zach, and he does digital art, and it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool piece. Uh, hurry up, spring. You're a farmer, eh? You've got lambs coming. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Just a guess. Love how the piece is coming along. Thanks, Sam. And I'm doing good, Seb. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. Um, yeah, outside, I will need some sunscreen, though, but we'll see how we get on. And, um, I, 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 um, I'm just slapping on some coats, this one here. It's not a commission, it's just for fun. So, just ticking through some stuff. And then I need to dash. Oh, I need to dash sooner rather than later. 2.49, so 3.49, okay. So I'm just going to slap this last bit of paint up here, guys. And then I need to be in Rotorua in less than an hour. So, I am running incredibly late, so I'm sorry. Right, let's get this paint up here. Let's get this paint on a canvas. My lord, why did I not look at the time? Silly me. That's all right, though. That's all right. Sometimes you just forget the time, and you just end up where you end up. That's how things go. All right, let's get this stuff around here. There we go. Now we're talking... And a bit more of this tan stuff. There we go. Get this over. Soon. Sorry, guys. I'll be back with you in just a second. Just gonna slap this on the side. Sorry guys, missed a few comments there, that wind is winding, it is. Um, and yes, thanks guys for helping me collect fireworks. Rotor Rotor not far from me, have a great day Seb, appreciate it Aaron. Great point, love to see you Seb, safe travels, thank you very much, look after yourself. Um, and your neck is done for, likely bacon, literally bacon. Yep, alright, well, I'm sorry. Um, it's likely that it is going to be bacon, but that's alright, because I'm about to at the track because I need to dash so we'll see how we get on do you paint on the bottom side yeah no I don't um, it's too niggly to get around there uh, no one looks at it no looking at the canvas not very often anyway you're best to put all that effort that you're gonna put into that space to the to 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 the front and the sides that's what I reckon that's what I reckon. Okay. Here we go, team. Thank you for the live, Sib. You're welcome, Singing Dino. It's been fantastic to be here. And thank you. Yeah, we have fun technique. And Canada. Welcome from Canada. So not much longer to go here guys, but it's been great because I've managed to pop in for the day and see a bunch of you regulars and a few new faces, which is very wholesome. So thanks everyone who joined in. 
because um, I need to go. But I'm really hoping this time, guys, that I'm not going to lie to you twice, and I'll get back in time to actually uh, help you guys out. But that does me for the day. I'm going to hit the track, so I'll catch you next time. Catch you, Jordan. Um, Blocking the pain so far, fantastic. I'm glad. Uh, another one or two layers, I reckon, and this one will be complete. So we'll see what we get to. All right, guys. All the best, and I will see you next time. Thank you to everyone who joined in. You're all the best. Catch ya.